Pepper, Pepper, do you want to come here? What is going on, everybody? How you all doing out there? I hope this video is finding you well. Welcome back to Get Right On In. For those of you who do not know, my name is Andrew, and this is Piper, and I don't know how long she's gonna actually stay on camera. If you watch my channel at all, you know she's hard to get. It's taken me 20 minutes to get her this close to me, so we'll just see how long she sticks around. But today, I just wanted to take a moment to go over some of my 20 2021 goals. I wanted to cover some stuff that I have planned for this channel as well as some of the stuff I have planned for my own writing and reading goals for this year. I don't really have that much to say at the beginning here apart from any of that so without further ado let's just get right on in. Okay, so for this channel itself, I guess I should just take a minute to talk about why I started this channel in the first place. Long story short, January of 2020, I had a bartending job and I had two freelance clients for two different food tour companies writing for their blogs, all of which disappeared in March of 2020 when little Miss Rona decided to make her way around the world. I then spent all of quarantine, applying for jobs left and right. I was trying to get remote work. I was trying to get any type of work that would still allow me to pay for my bills because Monterey, love you so much, but you don't come cheap. <laughs> and after six months of no luck, I honestly really ended up starting this channel as a means of adding to my portfolio. I wanted to add video editing skills onto the list of things that I could do. I wanted to have videos that showcased, I guess, my approach to writing and that was also why I wrote a book from scratch on this channel because I guess I just wanted to be like hey I can just put genres into a generator and make a book happen and I guess that added some sort of validity to me being a writer in my own mind but now that I have been around on YouTube for a couple of months and now that I have met other people and started to become more involved in the community I'm kind of I guess just working on finding a balance between videos that I do want to keep using for my portfolio and videos that are like those fun tag type of videos that are really more for the community and more fun you know what I'm saying and they are two different types of videos and there's kind of I guess like the teacher Andrew in the writer videos when I first started and then the Andrew that's kind of come out in December during that readathon as I got more involved in the community as of right now I'm just setting a goal of five 500 subscribers for myself by the end of 2021. As of this recording, I have 217, so I feel like that's a pretty good goal, but I have that number in particular because I feel like 500 connections on LinkedIn is when you start to be like, I don't know, have a following or something, so I guess 500 subscribers would make me feel like if I was applying for some type of a job, I could start to use the word following of some sort, I don't know, so I, I have a 500 subscribers subscriber goal that I would like to hit by the end of the year. Obviously that's not really up to me, but I would like to experiment with different types of videos and see the type of things that people like and maybe don't like or want more or less of. I had that fun little steampunk skit that I did with my friend Ebony a couple of months ago that people seem to really enjoy. I at the moment have a Lucifer themed video that'll be coming out soon that I think people might enjoy. I'm ultimately looking for just that blend of as I said, the portfolio content versus the community content, as well as the writing versus reading content. And I also have some ideas about just continuing the conversation of authors and readers together, because that is something that has just been interesting for me to witness on BookTube over the last couple of months, when readers are able to ask writers questions. And I have some ideas coming up that I don't really want to get too much into until I get around to them, but part of all of that also comes into one of my channel goals of having more collaborations. I love collaborating with people. I love interviewing people. That was the part of bartending that I did enjoy when I worked in hospitality was talking to people from all over the place and I would really like to continue that type of interaction here on this channel. 
But I want topics to cover all sorts of things besides just books. I have said that kind of from the beginning, but at the beginning I didn't have like anybody here on this channel. I'd love to have writers from poetry, screenwriting, music, short stories, like anything in between I really want to have featured on this channel at some different point or another, whether it be via interview or via skit or via writing advice vid or something or anything in between. But those are just some of the goals I have for this channel. I also would like to maybe vlog a little bit more, but that depends on a few things. If you've seen my IT vlog or if you see this video after like two weeks after it's posted and my Immortality Awaits vlog has come out for my own book, then you might know that when I vlog. My vlogs are kind of like productions <laughs> and so I enjoy making them a lot and I like making them almost like little films in that kind of sense because I like to make them aesthetically pleasing and enjoyable to watch outside of just me rambling like this. But a lot of that is just going to depend because I would like to be able to travel again. I'm getting really antsy and I talk a lot about how I'd like to move away from Monterey and people keep asking me where I'd want to go and the truth is is that a few years ago I embarked on a 50 state adventure with this one over here to try and figure out all of our options before I really made the decision of where I wanted to go and I have 17 states I have left to visit so that's something that I've been trying to squeeze into 2021 here and I think that if I did start traveling around then my reading and writing vlogs would just be interesting because my backdrop would be changing <laughs> it wouldn't be this all the time I would have all sorts of footage from all sorts of places and I mean I have my drone so even audiobook footage while I'm driving in the car could be cool footage from my drone of the landscape or whatever. So we will see how all of that goes but that's some of the channel goals that I have for this upcoming year. Obviously when it comes to my writing goals I think it's fair to say that same as every January 1st I would just like to either publish or sell one book that I have. I need to stop writing books until I I start finishing them because I'm getting stressed out at the library that I'm creating for myself on my computer and I need to start getting those books out. This here is the book that I have out. It is called Immortality Awaits. I just mentioned it a moment ago because I did a vlog for it that if you are watching this video on publication date it is coming out on Sunday but like I said if you're here like at least a week or any time after that for this video then it will already be up. I don't know what I'm going to do with this actual book. The revision is a lot further along and uh after reading this, I just don't even know if I want to keep it out anymore to even be available for people to purchase if I'm not that into it. But at the same time, I do have a history with this book. There was a release. I've done author functions and signings and all that kind of stuff that have made this have some sort of a history. So I feel like at least until I have something else out, I'm not going to delete this, but we will just kind of, I guess, see what happens. But the revision for this is priority number one. I have three books that I would really like to have finished by the end of the year. I'm open to self-publishing all of them but I would like to be able to experience both sides of publishing and maybe try to sell a book as well. The thing with self-publishing is just that it costs money for cover art and editors and formatting on the insides of pages and if I want to market it and anything like that and it's money that I don't mind spending but it's also money that I don't have as I said a minute ago your boy over here is trying to get a job and also I guess I should probably make it clear that I'm not trying to get monetized on YouTube I'm not expecting to like make money on YouTube like that I think we all know that monetization on YouTube even if that happens it's not like you make a bunch of money YouTube was just I felt like a good platform of me to start to connect and network with other people but this is one of the three books <laughs> that I have that I really want to get out by the end of this year one of my biggest problems on Honestly, always has been that people read my stuff and they always tell me to expand and that I need them to be longer and that there needs to be more and all of this and that and whatever and you go into the writing world and the editors and the publishers and the everybody over there always talks about how you need to cut words and it needs to be so short and it needs to be this and it needs to be that and I got really caught up in a lot of that in this book which I talk a lot about in this upcoming vlog for it so the revision 
vision is expanded upon from this because people ask me a lot like what are you gonna do that's different and I guess one of the easiest things I could say is that my friend Rachel said that when she was on page 200 she felt like she should be on page 500 so when I talk about the revision I just mean like that like when you're on page 500 and not 300 and done you're gonna be like oh whatever I'm done talking about this book it's one of the three that I have ready that I need to get going for this year along with a restaurant horror story that I don't really want to talk that much about and a book that I say is the best book I've ever written but the first draft is just not done and I don't want to talk about that yet and I have another video coming out this week that's my work in progress tag where I will talk about these in more detail I just don't want to spend that much time on them in this video but I have writing projects that I really need to get done this year and if anybody is interested in being a beta reader or a critique partner or if you're an editor or a graphic designer and you want to help a bro out or if you guys are into the idea of me crowdfunding any of these books. I don't know, that idea makes me really anxious, but I mean, if anyone's out there and is into it, let me know. As with everything in this channel, I'm looking forward to continuing to get to know more of the community, especially in the writing world. It's weird just because like the writers, I feel we all understand the struggle and it's different kind of community. Hanging out with just the readers like I've been doing on booktube has just been very different. It's very different to hang out with people who don't necessarily have any interest in creating books. It's a very different perspective, which is something that, as I said, I would like to examine a little bit throughout this year on this channel, throughout different collaborations. I also need to figure out what's going on with this whole Shelf Space Dragon Wars thing, and if you're on Shelf Space, and especially if you were there the day that this Dragon Wars thing was created, then I feel like you know what I am talking about. I just am trying to gauge, like, are we being serious or are we not? Because if we are, let's go back to this whole crowdfunding topic because I feel like I don't know how else to react to this book, but I will definitely tell y'all as well that I kind of wish that this had happened during NaNo because if you're a writer out there, one of the best ways to get a book written is just to tell a bunch of book nerds to write it for you and then just draft up the manuscript that they give you because Shelf Space Dragon Wars could actually turn out to not be that bad of a book. It could be a pretty good series. <laughs> I just don't know if people actually are expecting that to happen and I need to know. But I have just seen Hamilton for the first time. So I am on this whole non-stop write like you're running out of time kick in life. Wow, the sun just came out and this video just got really bright. <laughs> Maybe it's trying to tell me something, I don't know. But last up, I just, I have some reading goals that I'm gonna go over before I wrap up this video. And my first one, honestly, is just to not get overwhelmed because ever since joining booktube every time I watch someone's video I'm like oh there's 15 more books that I'm I want to read so that's great so my first goal of 2020 when it comes to the reading department is to just not get overwhelmed with the amount of books that I want to read and just read them as they come and when I can otherwise I'm gonna get more stressed out in the reading department than any other department this year but that being said since I have just discovered immersion reading Reading, I'm I'm here for that. I would love to get more into audiobooks and immersion reading and all of that throughout this year. I just, I don't know what else to say about it. I've kind of talked about it during the readathon last month. I just love listening to audiobooks while reading the physical book alongside of it. It's just the best reading experiences of my life so far and I want to get more into them. I'm hoping it will help me get through some more Brandon Sanderson and Joe Abercrombie because I definitely want to read like all of their works. They are two of my favorite authors and I felt like I had read a lot of their works and then I came to booktube and realized I wasn't even aware of all of their works so I have a lot to catch up on. I'm also trying to read just one book of the Wheel of Time every month throughout this year. I did read Eye of the World last month in December so I would be starting then with The Great Hunt here in January. I'm involved in a couple of different discords and discussions and such about this so I'm looking forward to having a community to discuss that with because I did struggle with The Wheel of Time the first couple of times I tried to get through it so I think it'll be cool to have a bunch of people who are both reading it for the first time as well and 
friend have also read it before who I can talk about it with whether I like it or not because I just think it's gonna make it a lot more interesting because I've never really had a community like that in the first place to talk to about books and so I just think that that aspect is gonna make it fun whether I enjoy the actual series itself or not. When it comes to traveling if I am able to travel around a little bit more like I was talking about a minute ago I would love to get a little more into the little free libraries. I am sure you've seen them around your town. <laughs> they are just little libraries outside of people's houses that you usually take a book and you leave a book. I have a couple of books that I'm going through. I'm trying to figure out my first unhaul so I could do one little swoop through the ones that are around my house that I walk by all the time when I'm walking her. I just think that it's a really fun nonprofit that I want to promote a little bit more and so I would like to see what kind of random reads I find outside of people's houses, especially traveling around the world and stuff. I just feel like I would find the coolest things. It's more just about the books that I have to leave in place of the books that I take that I have to figure out. But I would also love to have a little bit more buddy reads and do more readathons. That also falls back a little bit into not wanting to get too stressed out about my reading in 2021. The readathon that I did just do in December was awesome, and I plan on doing at least another readathon at some point in my life, but I just don't know if I want to be that competitive or intense about it. I think next time I do one, I will have less of a desire to win and more of a desire to just read. But competitor Andrew just came out the woodworks and was like, I'm gonna read all these pages. And I mean, I, wrote, I read 10,000 pages. If you saw that wrap up, you saw that wrap up. And it was, it was a month. So I enjoyed it for that purpose, but I don't want my months to be like that again because I feel like if I did that too often, it would take away the enjoyment of reading and I'm not here for that. But some books that I would really like to get to this year outside of hopefully not stressing myself out too much and outside of The Wheel of Time and all of Brandon Sanderson's work and all of Joe Abercrombie's work that already makes me stressed out. I've got that whole Bear in the Nightingale series I'd really like to read. The Patience of a Dead Man series I would really like to read. Those books I think are pretty short so I feel like they might be pretty easy to squeeze in. The Malice series I would really like to read. There's this book called Nightmare that I saw Jessie May talking about when I first discovered her channel. And the only reason I really am interested in that book is because she was talking about how crazy the crows are. And the crows outside my house are just crazy. And she told me when I told her that, that I need to be careful if I read that book. So I want to read that book just to see if I need to be careful. And if I get scared by it, then okay. But if not, then okay. I just need to know. I just need to know. I also need to read the the Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. It was on my December 2020 TBR and I just did not get around to it alongside of The Princess Bride. That is part of my little 80s book to movie comparison trilogy videos that I'll be working on over the next couple of months. So I'll get to that when I get to that as well. But we'll see. We'll see how my reading goes. I'm trying to take my reading more month by month than any of my other goals. Especially when we start getting into the whole topic of being mood readers and I feel like y'all know what I mean by that now. But I think that'll be it for this video. I just wanted to go over some of the goals that I had for this upcoming year. I set goals for myself all the time. I just don't usually share them. Oh, I'm really happy that she at least stuck around with me on the couch. Oh, I can't. Oh, I touched her, so now she's stressed out, but I'm happy she was here in the background. Usually she only appears in my vlogs because that's when I don't have the camera just sitting on a tripod and I can sneak up on her when she's sleeping like this, but we'll see. So another channel goal for the year is get more Piper because she's so cute, but she just hates the camera and she knows what it is. And she hates the ring light even more because now she knows it's like a production. But thank you so much for joining me today. I'd love to hear about some of your 2021 goals, whether they are writing related or reading related or if you have a channel of your own, or any goals in general that you may have. I'd love to hear about them down in those comments. And while you're down there, if you haven't already, I'd love it if you considered pressing that little subscribe button as well. I post a bookish and writerly and entertainment-esque content every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sundays coming up because it's another 2021 goal is to have three times a week and we'll just see how that goes. But apart from that, I think that's gonna be it for me today. So thank you so much once again and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh,